five minutes at least five minutes for the next speaker to set up and the speaker that follows you has the authorization to kick you out if you run over okay so you are responsible for your time and if you follow some if you're a speaker and you follow somebody and they're not done kick them out have some fun with it more stuff okay tonight and tomorrow night you're on your own so hang out with your buddies and go to dinner somewhere in town. Um, there are plenty of volunteers that can give you recommendations on where you want to go. If you want to go the safe path, if you want to be more adventurous, just go downtown and pick a place and see how it turns out. It's always fun. And then on Sunday night, we have the conference party. It's, we'll start at 7. Okay. Um, it's at the East West Pub. Information about the East West Pub location and so on is on the conference website. And it is in your badge, okay? When you registered, you also got wonderful Geeko dollars. And those are good for drinks at the conference party. So don't lose them. Or you're gonna be thirsty. Okay, what else? Um, one more? No? Next. Okay. And that's that. And with that, uh, thank you, welcome, and uh, Costas will talk about the next part. So, good morning. Uh, it's been a uh, few months before we had, last year we had uh, OSC 13, and we were still in a mud scrabble of finishing up the organization of all that. Uh, then that crazy guy showed up. So uh, here we are, less than 12 months, and uh, we're together again to celebrate the project, and this is what 
this open source conference is a celebration about the project. Uh, OSC 14 uh, completes the effort to make OSC a spring conference because from now on it will be a spring conference. Uh, it will take place uh, from March, April or May in that time frame. So if you are willing to put a proposition for next, for the years to come conference, be, prepar be prepared about that. Uh, for those who haven't realized that, you're in Dubrovnik, a great city, I mean, Game of Thrones city. <laughs> Uh, and uh, be prepared if it's your first time to see the wonderful world of open source. Uh, Old Town uh, has a lot of history, so you should walk the streets of the Old Town and see the town when you have time, before or after the season. So, uh, we would like to thank our sponsors for uh, making this conference possible. SUSE is our primary sponsor. Uh, not only dedicating uh, financial resources, uh, but also supporting the project financially with uh, people who are dedicated in working our project. And I think we should give an applause about those guys because they do great. So, uh, Suse will share some insights about how great work has been done within the community and uh, how this work is influencing the development of uh, SLED 12 at January. Uh, uh, no. uh, Jan will do a talk, Jan Webers will do a talk at 3.30 uh, today traveling. Where's Jan? Oh, here's Jan. <laughs> Follow him at Alone 3. Also, we uh, would like to thank Arm for being a gold sponsor. This guy here made it happen. <laughs> Coffees are on him. And uh, you should participate in the art season at uh, 1 o'clock today at Traveling. Now, also, uh, we would like to thank uh, Oracle for sponsoring OSC again this year. Uh, they done that last year and again to do this year. Uh, you please visit the Oracle season uh, about pack and aging for uh, MySQL at 1 o'clock on Sunday. It's a good talk. Uh, last but not least, thanks Weber and his team for all the hard work. I understand fully what you did and how much sleep you lost about all that. And uh, the result hopefully is rewarding and as if it's been done, great job. So. Uh, also, I would like uh, everyone else who participated uh, about the organization, the web presentation, artwork, program, blah, 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 everything that had to be done about the conference. There are too many people to mention, so you know who you are. <laughs> Most of the people know who you are. And yes. So, Richard. Hello. Wow, it is sensitive. <laughs> so, the motto for this, uh, this, this conference is the strength to change. What does that mean? Well, it's been a really, it is a really exciting time for OpenSUSE. So the last 12 months have been really interesting, and we've learned an awful lot. And a lot of changes are underway, but also this conference is a good opportunity to start discussions about what other changes we need to do in the project, what should we change, what can we change, how, to, how should it look in 12 months' time. So, yes, there's already many changes in part of the project. Uh, the parts I'm going to be talking about, uh, or we're going to be talking about, are particularly the, the marketing materials, the, the materials which we have around the world at events that you know, show, show the project as, we're, as we want to be. And the, the development model, is it working? Do we need to change it? The release cycle is what, eight months where it should be, and yeah, lots of other things, but sticking on, a few, on just a few topics. So, marketing materials. For the last 12 months, maybe a little bit longer, um, we haven't actually had any materials at any events, so our presence around the world has been a lot less than it used to be. That's now finally changing. 
Uh, with the new materials, we want to have OpenSUSE at a much bigger presence around the world. We want people to know what we are, what we're doing, how they can get involved, how we can get more contributors. But we need to know which events are important to the community. Um, we, we have a list of what we think, but that list isn't complete. So if you're interested in helping out, please contact the board. Let us know what events you're going to be going to, that way you're willing to represent OpenSUSE. And we can supply you with all these really nice boxes, all these nice new banners and the, the stuff you see here has been made by the, the SUSE design team who have a talk in a, sometime. <laughs> what? 2.30 today. Two th two today. Thank you, Reverend. What happened to that slide? Yes. Um, and also, we're going to start a, a formalized sponsorship program. So where there's an event where we think as a project, it's very important that OpenSUSE has a presence there, and uh, hopefully we'll attract sort of new contributors, things like scale. Um, we're, we're going to arrange sort of regular sponsorship of, of a certain amount of money um, and, and probably host sort of mini summits there. So like the, the summit uh, we used to have in uh, at SUSECon, probably see similar things in sort of Asia, Latin America, and elsewhere in America. Next. So yes, we, these booth boxes, we already have, thanks to our friends at SUSE, we already have some of them out and about. So at Fleeso and uh, Open West in, in May, in a week's time, um, we have Nathan and, and Craig who, who will be representing the project there and getting the details out. And in Linux Tag, uh, we have, we're going to have a booth there and we have two volunteers, but we need a third. So if, you haven't, if anyone's going to Linux Tag and wants to help out, we really could do with your help, um, especially if you're willing to, to uh, do a presentation, a technical presentation on, on something. But it's just a starting point. We haven't got all the details worked out yet, so if everybody needs to provide feedback, we really want to know what's working, what you'd like, what you don't like, and we will try our best to incorporate all of that moving forward. Aloha. Um, so, with the whole development model, we're actually a victim of our own success. A uh, number of packages are growing and growing, over 7,500 now in factory. Um, it's much larger than in previous years. Uh, the OpenSUSE team uh, that are dedicated uh, to working on the project, doing a great job now, and they're helping to improve the situation. Uh, OpenSUSE QA, uh, OpenQA2 is now out working, and it's doing a great job for testing the distribution, uh, but it needs everyone's help to improve uh, and increase the testing. Uh, there are several talks, uh, 4.30 this afternoon here, and uh, one o'clock on Sunday in Boca. Uh, so please, if you are interested in improving the state of affairs, uh, please join in. Um, staging projects uh, are underway now to try and make factory uh, more stable and usable for everyday use for developers. Uh, Kulo has a talk tomorrow in Revlin at 3.30 in the afternoon. And please, uh, Try and join in there. Um, one of our aims is to be a project that's easy to contribute to, um, but make sure what you contribute actually works, and uh, we want to encourage you to keep working on the project uh, in all the areas that you're interested in. This conference is the ideal place to actually speak to fellow contributors, um, there are some people from other projects here as well. Uh, Wookie's here from Debian. They've got a lot of experience and knowledge in all areas, and this place is the ideal time and opportunity to grow your knowledge, grow your connections within the wider FOSS environment. So the release cycle. 
Um, there's been lots of discussion over the past year about changing our cycle. Um, it's a very important uh, decision to be made and there's been some very good discussion. Um, it affects everyone uh, from developers to users to designers, those that want to make their own custom OS based on OpenSUSE in Studio or, or whatever. Uh, you know, you name it, it affects you. Um, lots of people have stepped up uh, and up their game. So OpenSUSE 13.2 is now going to be released in November. Uh, slightly off our planned eight month cycle. Um, but one of the questions is, is the eight month cycle uh, an old dog that's just wanting to sleep now? Um, one of the questions is, should we try something new? Doing it annually rather than eight months uh, and spend more time on polish, making sure that the release is as good as it can get. Or just try something completely different. Not do a regular release. Do it rolling, release every couple of years, follow other projects, models, where we work on the development until we decide that actually it's ready now, let's push it out. Um, there's lots of discussions to be had. Uh, so think about what you want. Think about your ideas. If you think you've got a good idea and you want to discuss it with a wider group, you've got boff sessions that you can have. Um, but there will also be uh, our project meeting on Sunday morning at 10 a.m., town hall meeting, where you can raise your ideas uh, and you never know, it could actually be a really good idea, even if you think it's crazy. Uh, so please don't hold back, think out of the box, try and be innovative, uh, and try and improve the project. Hello. Um, we think OpenSUSE is in, actually in a great position to make a uh, lot of big improvement uh, over the next 12 months, perhaps a bit more. Um, we are especially excited about what, is, uh, what the changes uh, appear to factory, uh, our development process, and the big potential behind us. And we are looking forward for a new great uh, Google Summer of Code uh, this year. We will have a couple of great announcements in a minute. Uh, during the next couple of days of a great program, uh, we will, uh, don't miss please the keynote uh, done by Michael Mix tomorrow morning, at, uh, starting at 10, 10 yeah. And um, for inside those announcements, we managed to get our public cloud hacked together. We have now a planned release normally later this year. And so we really hope that you uh, will get excited, excited and uh, be here. We are looking forward to make OpenSUSE even better than it has been. And now I think I will let Vincent uh, for some announcement. Hey, good morning. So yeah, we do have a couple of announcements. Um, we thought we would like to share the news with you at the beginning of uh, the event because it's important and uh, then we can also discuss all that. So the first one is about uh, local reimbursement, uh, local material reimbursement. We have the issue that uh, for all the good stuff like this and everything that we will have in the event box, we cannot send that to small events uh, because obviously not all events are big enough for receiving tons of materials. And um, so we've had requests from several people uh, in the past few months and actually over the years to uh, be able to produce locally some materials for marketing. And uh, we wanted to be able to say yes to these people, but we were not able to say that until now. So what we will do is that we will actually have a process which will be documented in the next few days and uh, in short, 
people just sent uh, uh, a request and this will be using the same process as the TSP, so the same web application. And um, there will be a committee which will be led by Jim Henderson. Uh, we actually also need volunteers to help with, with that. And this committee will decide if um, this is worth it or not, and hopefully they will say yes to many people. And the idea is that people will be able to request for materials up to uh, $200 per request, and uh, we have a budget allocated of uh, 2K per quarter. So we can sponsor like 10 small events like that. So it can be used by local events, but it could also be used for universities who want to display some permanent posters and so on. And we believe it's a really good way to really extend um, our reach uh, for the project and to be able to be more present in many more uh, locations. So it's really a good change. Um, talk about it, talk about it around you, uh, in your city, in your lug, and so on, because uh, we want people to make use of that to, to uh, spread the word about OpenSUSE. Um, the second announcement is about the conference next year. Um, well, there it is. Um, so we're going to travel again. It's going to be The Hague in Netherlands. And uh, so we had quite some discussion about that. And um, so we found uh, a team of volunteers who are going to organize that. Hans de Hat is going to lead that. And uh, obviously, we'll need help from a lot of people. So if you want to help with that, uh, obviously, first, you should focus on this event right now, uh, because you can still help. But if you want to help with the organization next year, uh, you can step up, you can help organize the event. It's going to be, we don't have the exact dates yet, but it's likely going to be April. We said that we want to keep the events in, in, in uh, spring uh, because it makes sense for us, and April is likely to be the, the right month for that. Uh, there will be a, a talk from Bruno on Sunday, I think, Sunday morning after the town hall meeting. So it's going to be in this room uh, to present, uh, well, this event next year, and uh, so it will be a good time to just join, ask all your questions, uh, suggest all improvements you might have, uh, you might want to, to see next year uh, for the event. Um, so it, it's, it will be exciting, I think. Well, just from a personal perspective, we had Guadec in The Hague, and it was really great. It was like three, four years ago. It was amazing. Um, so that's it for the announcement. Um, I think we're reaching the end of this keynote. Uh, we want you to have a lot of fun during the next few days. We want you to really talk to each other, to go to the uh, sessions, ask questions, contribute. Uh, really, don't be just listening, uh, but really contribute actively. Talk to people, raise questions, uh, express all your ideas, and uh, this is really how we can make the, prog the project move forward and progress. So. Don't use it for that. And really, have a lot of fun. Dubrovnik is a great city. Don't also forget to just visit the city because it's amazing. It's really beautiful. So with that, thanks, I guess. And uh, well, the sessions will start in uh, the next slot at 11, I think. Thanks. <laughs>